Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Ross La Vista, and you are here in my gaming room. This is my den. Uh, this is, you know, my mini kingdom. This is where I spend a lot of my day, uh, especially streaming right here in this very chair. Um, right now, you guys are standing right in the middle of it. You have a 360 view. Go ahead, look around, take a second, take in everything that I have been collecting over, uh, you know, the three years that I've been streaming and uh, things that mean so much to me. I, I'm, I'm actually gonna show you guys a few items that mean a lot to me, uh, very important items in my room. And I'm just gonna take you through, uh, you know, some of the things that I have going on because I know at first glance, it's a lot to take in, but I just wanna let you guys in on my space, let you guys chill out, relax, you know? This is a comfort zone, you know? You can, spin around you don't even have to be looking at me just look around look at everything zoom in if you have to just just take it all in because um i'm very proud of everything i've been able to collect here and i'm ready to show you guys so first up um one of my absolute the very most important thing to me in this room is surprisingly enough this bad boy right here now a lot of you you know, you may not know what I'm holding in my hand exactly or why it's so important to me. Um, so I'm gonna fill you in. This is a Final Fantasy VIII original PlayStation sealed, steel sealed, factory sealed, beautifully, beautifully factory sealed um, Final Fantasy VIII original uh, from PlayStation 1, my absolute favorite game of all time. Um, I mean, I, I guess that's why it's so important to me. Um, because it is my favorite game of all time from one of the greatest RPG series of all time. Um, I love this game. I have so many memories with this game. And for me to actually be able to get my hands on a factory sealed version of it and keep that up for display in my room was like a dream. Um, I bought it off of someone from eBay. Uh, he's, he was able to, he sold it to me, shipped it. Uh, when I got it, it was intact. Everything was good to go. And yeah, I've had it ever since. And I absolutely love it. So there's that. Some of you might know what this is. For those that don't, this is Jon Snow's sword from Game of Thrones, Longclaw. This is a um, a very, very, very close, if not exact replica of his sword. This is a limited edition version of the sword, uh, complete with the scabbard. Um, it's actually made of Damascus steel. This is the King of the North sword uh, from the show. Um, I'm a big fan of Game of the Thrones. Um, and this was like a must have for my collection just because how beautiful it is, uh, it, whether it's in the scabbard or outside the scabbard. Um, I just think this is a, just like a flawless piece of my collection. So Jon Snow's long claw right there. Um, another thing that's very important to me, another thing that's very important to me and uh, just amazing additions to my collection. If you look around and you look behind you, you'll probably see a lot of Venom references around, you feel me? Um, so down there we have a, a Venom and Carnage portrait that's not uh, hung up yet. Uh, we have some graded and signed Venom comics uh, Venom the End and Venom Lethal Protector, which is Venom's first comic that he was uh, on the cover of. Uh, I have my Venom bus over there, Venom pool. I have a bunch more Venom comics on a wall back there and some even more Venom comics on my uh, little comic book stash. So I'm a big Venom fan. Um, the 9.6 uh, sign Lethal Protector Venom is probably one of my, it's probably the, my very favorite uh, Venom comic that I have. Uh, Venom is just, I'm a big, big Venom fan. I love him as a, a character. And uh, yeah, so anything that is Venom in my room is important to me because the, he's my absolute favorite. Uh, my favorite statues that you see are, you know, gonna be the Venom bus. It's a beautiful statue and that absolutely massive Venom pool that I have sitting over there. That's, uh, yeah, that's near and dear to me. 
I appreciate you guys coming into my, stepping in my space, stepping into my gaming room, enjoying yourselves, looking around, just hanging out. It's a pretty chill zone, you feel me? This is me in my natural habitat. Uh, again, I shrink right from this very chair and I'm just happy to be here. Uh, this has been Ross LaVisa and stay tuned for more 360 videos to come. I appreciate you, love you guys.